Dallas, Texas uh, has a kollel. Dallas, Texas is not such an orthodox city, but they have some rabbis who give classes. And there was a fellow who had not been religious at all. But after a trip to Jerusalem, he started becoming more and more religious. And uh, shortly after he returned, like six months after he returned, he died of a sudden heart attack. But he left uh, like $10 million to this kollel because he thought that this is where he wanted his money to go. Now, it turned out, what was the story? Like, what, what changed? And what was his epiphany? What was his transformation? He went to the Western Wall, and he sees some Hasidic guy davening. And he was so moved by how fervent the person was, how sincere he was, how devoted he was. He didn't meet the guy. He didn't talk to the guy. The guy didn't see him. He just said to himself, this is where I'm going to leave my fortune. This is the people I want to help. This is the cause I want to be connected to. So he leaves $10 million, he dies. Now, imagine after 120 years, this Hasidic guy dies. And the angels say to him, oh, you're going to get such reward. Because of you, somebody gave $10 million of charity. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I never saw this guy. I don't know who this guy is. What does it have to do? But somebody saw you, somebody saw you, somebody changed. And that's a lot of the times, you know, people, uh, you know, people watch you sometimes. <laughs> Especially if you wear a yarmulke, you know, you try to be a religious Jew. And uh, the little things you are, you know, how friendly you are, how you talk to people, are you rude, are you pushy, or vice versa? Do you try to be kind or considerate? It might just be a one-to-one -one interaction, but there might be somebody who sees, and, you know, etc. And you never know, ripple effects are amazing, the ripple effects of the little actions we do, for good or for bad, just have so much far-reaching consequences that it can be un unbelievable. You know? So we've got to be careful and we've got to try to live a life that uh, when people look at us, they'll say, oh, being a Jew is a good thing. Right? That's what it means to say, you shall love the Lord your God, we say in Shema. So the Gemara says in Maseches Yuma, make the name of God beloved in others. That's what it means to love God. That people should look at you and say, oh, if that's what a religious Jew is, that's a good thing. And if people look at you and they say, oh, if that's what a religious Jew is, ugh, ugh, then that's a, you've done the opposite. You've desecrated Hashem's name. So it's not so much whether they become religious or not, but they should look at a Torah Jew and say, that's a good thing. And that's called sanctification of God's name. That is called making the name of God beloved. And the great Rebbe Yashiv said that he said, he thought that this was the central mission of the Jew in this century before Mashiach is to try to make the name of Hashem beloved. 